Kutonu, and Benin has found a way of regularizing commercial motorbike operations in the capital. What it's termed a menace in Ghana is in, and in some other African countries is recognized and taxable mode of transportation in the cotton exporter. There are perhaps more motorbikes than cars in Benin, some for commercial purposes and others for personal use. These motorcycles are the most common way of traveling around Kutonu and have become an essential service for this ever-growing city. According to latest figures, Kutonu is home to about 720,000 people, although some estimates suggest more than a million. Here in Kutonu, the Okada riders are recognized. They ride confidently in town without looking out for the police. All commercial riders wear yellow vests with identification numbers. There are also dedicated lanes on which they travel. This yellow, now they know, now people they know say, okay, these people, they be Okada man. So this logo, this logo we there for our bag, now local government logo. So anything we do here, we know our life for here. If you just wear this yellow, then they know say, okay, this boy, you, he be Okada man. Any people we know we are out, you know be Okada man. Oh, they're making money small, small. I would say would they make money too much money. Just the, the manager. The supply of motorcycle services in the city outstrips demand, a phenomenon which pushes charges relatively low and making the Okada rider worse off. With a little as 150 safer, roughly one city 80 pesos, one can enjoy a ride in the city. The variables that informed the regularization of the motorcycle trade in Benin may differ from Ghana, where Okada is illegal but is vibrant in the transport business. There are some who have however called for the replication of the Benin model in Ghana, looking at the number of jobs it has created.